Kiev Polytechnic Institute is grand in terms of size and architecture. 139 societies, factories, organizations, and patrons invested in its construction prior to its founding in 1898. Over two and a half million rubles were collected. To compare, at the time, workers earned around two rubles a day, and 16 kilograms of wheat cost 10 kopecks. Different locations all over Kyiv were considered for the future university site. Eventually, Shulavka was chosen, but at the end of the 19th century, the territory was outside the city. When the first rector was asked why he agreed on this location, he said that the developing institute would need a lot of space. Kyiv Polytechnic Institute takes up the territory of 160 hectares. To compare, it's two and a half times more than the territory of the Vatican. The university's campus includes a park and around 30 buildings. The best architects of the time submitted proposals for the university building design. In the end, the choice fell on the brick style by Jeronim Kittner. The chemistry building was the first to be opened. Now it is included in the list of Ukraine's architectural monuments. In 1903, the examination committee here was headed by Dmitry Mendeleev, a Russian chemist who formulated the periodic table. During World War I, the building housed a rocket workshop. It is also where the first airplane in the Russian Empire was built. In the spring of 1910, an instructor at our university, Alexander Kudashev, built the first airplane here of the Russian Empire. On May 23rd of the same year, it took to the air on the territory where Dovzhenko Film Studios are situated now. However, the highlight of the campus is its main and largest building. Its length reaches 300 meters. It's the largest building on our campus. <laughs> Romanesque Gothic architectural style is furthered by the towers on each side with Marquet roofs. Inside, one will find stucco molding in the Romanesque Renaissance style. The great physics auditorium of the Kiev Polytech Institute is known to be the most opulent lecture hall in the Ukrainian capital. It was designed so that the speaker could be seen and heard from any seat in the room. The acoustics of the room are very favorable. It seats on average around 400 people. The auditorium was designed and built by Kiev architect Vasily Smark. He's known for his other famous project in Kiev, the Dynamo football stadium. A plaque on the wall has accurate geographical coordinates of the building. The sculptures of eight famous physicists were originally created by Italian sculptor Emilio Sala, famous for his collaborations with Vladislav Horodetsky, most notably on the house with Chimayras. Most recently, the sculptures were restored by Ukrainian Anatoly Valiev. The university also has a museum of its own, with some 10,000 items on show. The exhibits pretty much tell the whole story of technological progress in Ukraine. For instance, here we can find a switchboard from 1886. That's when they built the first telephone station in Kiev. The Museum of the Kiev Polytechnic Institute and its entire campus, for that matter, allows visitors to get immersed in the history of Ukrainian science and education. <laughs>